Hello beautiful people, losing Drea here. Today it is Friday, it is February 26, 2016 and it's day 57 of the 90 day take it back challenge and it is weigh in day. So I'm coming to you guys with, uh, I don't even know what my weight is today. Um, I got on the scale this morning, I kind of think my scale is broken, it like flatlined, I don't know what happened. Um, I got on it, and went to go take my shower so I took everything off like I normally do and first it like read like 256 I think 256 8 or something and then 257 8 and then cuz I'm thinking 7 but uh there's no way but anyways then it went to 256 and then it went to 255.4 and then it went to 255.4 and then it went to 254 Um, and when I say went to, it, you know, I got off of it every time it stopped at, when I say went to, I meant stopped at, um, uh, because it'll stop, it, you know, it'll flash until it's done and then it stops and then, um, you got to get off of it, get back on it. And I was getting off of it and trying to like, you know, step on it and get back on it and get it to, to, you know, come back to, and it just wasn't, it, it wasn't working like it normally would. And normally if it's like low on battery power. Hey, this my hair is getting long in the back, so it's curling. Normally, if it's low on battery power, what'll end up happening is it'll flash like an ER or some sort of a notification to let me know that my battery's low and I need to change the battery. Well, this isn't the case. So what ends up happening is I'm gonna go with the number that I got most, like in the middle, and that was the 255.4 because lately the way my um, because since I weigh myself every day anyways, even though I know you're not supposed to, um. I'm usually like up or down six ounces. So considering yesterday, yesterday I had a weight, uh, a weigh in of 256 yesterday. So if that's the case and I'm down six ounces, then I would weigh 255.4. So um, I'm going with that number. I'm going with 255.4. Um, I didn't want to have to buy a new scale in the middle of the challenge because my idea is this, even if the scale is wrong, it was maybe probably wrong, you know, even 20, 30 days ago. And whatever my numbers are now, you know, up or down, you know, um, if it's off a pound or two or even a couple of ounces, then it's still going to be off. Now, if I go ahead and I get a brand new scale, wherever I'm at at that point, it could be more, it could be less. And I don't even know if that scale's right. Um, so it's really kind of hard to say. And I don't like changing scales in the middle of a challenge because... Regardless, I mean, I don't even care about, let me, let me reword this because I don't want to say this the wrong way. It's not like I don't care about the challenge. I really do care about the challenge, not just for me, but for the ladies that have uh, joined in on it. I mean, really, we're just there to help motivate, encourage, and support one another. And that's really what the challenge for me, anyways, is all about. Um, th there isn't any prizes being won that I'm aware of. Uh, if there is, um, I guess, whoever wins it, because I don't think it'll be me. I mean, more power to them. That is just, like, amazing and great. And so, you know, getting a new scale for me, really, I don't think is going to, um, you know, help the matter in any kind of way because, I mean, I don't know. You know, maybe it is what it is. But uh, it's just kind of weird because that's never happened to me before. And usually the weight that I get on it the first time, you know, they always say, you know, your scale's got to warm up or whatever, but usually the weight is what the weight is. And if I keep getting on, it's the same. And I always place the scale on the same, uh, I think it's a 12 by 12 or 12 point something by 12 point something size tile. And I always put it on the same one, which is directly in front of where the scale is. I move it away from the wall. I put it on that tile and I stand on it. And that's where I do every single day, unless for some reason or other I woke up late or something and I'm like, I might as well either not... You know, like I'm in a hurry and I can't do it and I have to get dressed real fast and there's no way I'm going to weigh myself with my clothes on because I just don't keep records of uh, what my weight is with my clothes on. But anywho, this is week eight. Uh, like I said, day 57. And um, so I'm going with the 255.4. And last week's weight, I was 257.2. So uh, that's a total weight loss of 1.8 pounds for the week. And an overall total for the challenge since January 1st of 16 pounds down. So that's where I'm at. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Don't, um, don't take 
you know, your emotions and your feelings out on yourself by trying to cover them up with food. It's, it's going to make you feel worse in the end. So if you're out there and you're struggling and you're watching my video or videos and, um, you know, you, you're just new to my channel, you know, just keep coming back, keep watching my, my videos and, uh, you know, there's got to be a message sometimes, you know, take what you can, leave what you can't. Uh, I try to help everybody because if I can help just one person uh, aside from myself, that'll mean the world to me. Um, you know, I know I'm not in this alone. There's people out there who are struggling and don't know where to turn, what to do, where to start, how to start. Um, you know, and, and I'm one of those that, you know, I, I can't afford organic and I can't afford to... Um, you know, do a lot of the things like, you know, the, the shakes and the potions and the pills and the programs and all that. So I don't do it. Um, I'm just about losing the weight naturally and uh, as healthy, you know, be as healthy and try to be as healthy as I possibly can. I will say this, this last week, um, I've stepped it up a notch as far as I got my pedometer finally. So like uh, today's day six of having my pedometer. Oh my God, I forgot to put it back put it back on. I took it off in the bathroom when I took a shower. Okay, so I missed a bunch of steps. But anyways, just letting you know, um, I did get a pedometer, so I've been moving a lot lately. I have gotten on my uh, recumbent bike, which is behind me, even though you can't see it. I kind of cover it all up so the cats can't scratch at it. And um, yeah, you know, it, it's making me, uh, it's motivating me to want to move more. I kind of like seeing the numbers go up. And then when I uh, pair it with my phone or sync it with my phone to the app. Uh, I like to see everything that I've been doing, you know, aerobic steps, steps, calories burned, all that good stuff. Um, it's a big help. So if, if you can, you don't have to get one of those very, very expensive models. In fact, I got an Omron Activa and it uh, ended up because I had a $5 credit only cost me about $6 and change. However, they're only about 11 to 12 and change on a prime and you can get them about the same price on eBay with shipping. So with the shipping, including is what I mean. Anywho, with that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey. I'll definitely be seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys. Be blessed.